So here I am, today I have come to Porto Heli, and I've always wanted to come here, probably geographically, because it's as far south as you can come if you continue directly south from Navplio. And a lot of people come to Navplio, to Mequines, to Argos, for the views. But if you keep going south, you come to Porto Heli, which unsurprisingly is a beautiful port. So let's have a look around, find out why I wanted to so come here. Porto Heli itself, unsurprisingly, is a port, and a big port actually, because it's located close to two important islands. Spetses, which is only six kilometers off the coast here, it takes about 10 minutes in a ferry, and Hydra, which is halfway between here and Athens and takes about an hour and 10 minutes. And there are ferries to all three. Many people get ferries here from Athens from Piraeus. It takes about two hours, 10 minutes. It costs about 50 euros and it's much quicker than driving. Driving, if you drive, it takes about two hours, 40 minutes. There is loads of parking here, however, because lots of people come down here, park up, leave their car here for two or three days and take the ferry to both Spetses, which as I said, is only six kilometers from here, or to Hydra. And I have videos of both of those, are fantastic islands. Both have different characters. I'm gonna put some shots in so that you can see. Both are car free, although Spetses does have uh, cars as taxis. Um, Spetses, you go to Spetses if you want somewhere really laid back, really chilled, really easy. And you go to Hydra because rather like Porto Heli, it's very smart, very posh. It was incredibly successful in the 60s. Let's say you have three or four days spare in Athens and you're looking for something to do. I would say, fine, get on a boat to Hydra or Spetses or Porto Heli, and then effectively tour around the three. You could do a night in each, and it would be well worth it. Um, you need a night in Hydra, you need a night, maybe two nights in Spetses, and a night in Porto Heli. I wouldn't advise spending longer than a night or two in Porto Heli. It's a very nice place you can see, but it's like most Greek seaside resorts. It's taverns, it's... Um, a few shops etc you're using it as a base to go other places there are two reasons you might come here however for the more first reason is over here porto heli is very very well known for great scuba diving so if you're into your scuba diving and you want a base for scuba diving which allows you also to go out to the islands and explore the coastline around the Peloponnese. Porto Heli is apparently a fantastic place for that. The other reason is just over here. Yachting. Being a natural harbour, being a natural marina and being an excellent location for Hydra and Spetses, if you want to go sailing, if you want to charter a boat, if you want to learn to sail, if you want to learn how to drive a motorboat, this is an excellent place to do it. So I've come down two minutes around the coast, probably one minute around the coast, and you can see some big hotel complexes and a bit of a beach. I'm not going to tell you it's the best beach in Greece, it's not. You don't come to Porto Heli for the beach. But you can see it runs all the way down here and all the way around the bay. And should you be here for a day or two, why not? I go lots of places in Greece, as some of you who watch me a lot will know, but very rarely do I actually come across what I would call Mamma Mia Jetty, a rather dubious, rather quaky little jetty here. So I'm going to enjoy walking out on it and enjoy the view of the sea here, which is just fabulous. It is a little bit soft, I have to tell you, underfoot. Um, you can see here, water alley, beautiful action. And the color of the sea today is very, very, very nice. Well worth coming down here if you're in Greece and you like to tour around and you want to get off the beaten track just a little bit. There is a lot of parking here, but there needs to be, because as I said in the summer, a lot of people will come down here from Athens or from the surrounding areas, bring their cars, leave their cars here for two, three, four days and go to Spetses, go to Hydra, go to the islands and explore on the boats. Um, at the end, towards the church, there's this very nice pedestrianised area. Loads more car parking, because as I said, car parking here is very important. But whilst it's fairly shut now, you can see in the summer, this place is going to be packed with chairs, tables and tourists. Very nice. Very nice restaurants on the end here, should you wish to walk down. Um, beautiful by the seafront. And also smart shops and cafes. Nice traditional Orthodox church on the spit of headland here. And then, although they're doing a lot of work at the moment, we have the channel out into the sea and towards Spetses. So you can see Porto Heli has a beautiful natural harbour. 
which opens out through this narrow channel here into the Argolithic Gulf. And the land we see in the distance isn't mainland, that's the island of Spetses. It shows you how close we are to Spetses. But panning round again, you can see it's very, very picturesque here. Like most places in Greece, you just have to walk around a little bit to explore and find the places that you actually want to see. It's very, very nice. There are also some extremely smart hotel complexes here. Some of the big hotel chains here have their own boats in the harbour, which they use to ferry guests out to Spetses or Hydra or wherever for the day or lunch or whatever. This, for example, Amanzoe, the Amanzoe Hotel about two kilometers from here is hugely expensive and very famous because it doubled as the billionaire's house in the recent Daniel Craig film, The Glass Onion. And the film was also partially set on Spetses itself. So last winter when they were filming it, they were here all the time apparently. And Porto Heli does attract the odd celebrity. Amanzoe itself, if you want to stay there, it's about 2,000 euros a night in May, rising to about 5,000 in August. And apparently it's a favorite haunt of the Cardassians when they're here in Greece. So talking of ferries, you can see there's a flying cat from Hellenic Seaways that's just literally arrived. I'm not sure where this has come from. It might've come from Athens, it might've come from Spetses. I suspect actually, and I haven't checked the timetables, I apologize, but I suspect they probably go Athens, Hydra, Spetses, Porto Heli, um, something like that. But apparently in the summer there are four or five of these in constantly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my little brief look at Porto Heli. As with many seaside towns in Greece, um, quiet in the winter, busy in the summer, it's not necessarily, as I said, somewhere I'd recommend you come and have a big holiday unless you go to one of the hotel complexes and you like that. But as a point to explore the Peloponnese from, to go to Spetses and Hydra, and also an access point, if you like, from Athens to the Peloponnese, it's fantastic, you can't really beat it. And I'd really recommend it for that. And a night or two here, it's going to be fun. Anyway, watch some of my other videos. I hope you've enjoyed this one. And please subscribe. It really matters to me. Thank you for watching.